Hey, it's John and Rachel, and everything in Pittsburgh deserves a tailgate. I can't believe we made it through another week, and it's not R-A-I-N-ing right now, so we're super happy. Who needs like, two? Oh, uh, Who needs two? I got two. I don't even know what that Who needs right? two? Who needs I guess two? John is the two. You need two? Yeah. How you doing? I'm John. Are you going to yeah. whistle? Peter. <laughs> I, don't even I didn't know, know what whistle. to expect, because I was just telling everybody every, everything in Pittsburgh deserves a tailgate, and now you're, what are you doing? I'm going to sit on the tailgate, maybe. Oh I'm going to hang out like your favorite uncle at the tailgate, right? He's our favorite uncle at the tailgate. Because we're going to talk about, we're at Rorick Toyota Tailgate. Everything in Pittsburgh deserves a tailgate. And we have a special one today, but before we talk about that yeah, and how you can get tickets to see Mike Tomlin speak, uh -huh. all right, we are going to talk about this 2019 Toyota Highlander XLE, Rach. I feel this like we is... always, XLE, we need to definitely find out what is the importance of the XLE. Right. Right? It's, well, it, you pronounce it, it's XLE. XLE, yeah. It's a 2019 yeah. because, listen, we were sort of joking because we all know the car industry, right? It's been kind of this like up and down roller coaster of do we have vehicles, do we not, do you order them, what do you do? But right now the big demand is for the sort of used. So like the 2019s are just sort of, like a gently. Right, and when you're at Rorick, it's a certified used. Right. Then you get all of the Rorick Advantage stuff, the oil changes, Rorick Advantage the, uh, the inspections, all that kind of stuff. But yes. in the meantime, Peter Ward is here yeah. and we are talking about man up which oh is gosh. coming up in june according to my notes that you gave me Peter. yeah thank That's you for correct. my cheat sheet you're very welcome <laughs> i appreciate it'll it it'll help me too it'll help you too so let's start at the beginning you actually represent urban impact which people right. know has been around for quite some time we want to know a little bit about that and how urban impact has continued to get messaging across through sure Europe. sure so you're right urban impact has been around for 27 years yeah. on the north side of pittsburgh we work with youth ages kindergarten all the way through graduating from high school about 1200 kids a year wow. in our different programming and our founder happens to still be our president pastor ed Glover. Oh, wow. and with pastor ed doing this work for so many years in the north side he came to the conclusion that the core issue impacting inner city kids is fatherlessness and did you guys know that one out of four, 25%, or 18 million kids in America are growing up either without a biological dad, a stepdad, or an adopted dad in the home. Did so not know that. it's not a problem, it's a play. Oh my gosh, did wow. you know that? I That's did not, not on my cheat that. sheet, so thank you for telling me that and information. Because it is dad. important to know, and we need to help kind of manifest that to not be, to like figure out how do people man up, and how do they help the boss. Yeah, so as Pastor Ed was making that realization, he really wanted to start an event that addressed the issue of fatherlessness. Sure. And he had a thought, he had a relationship with Coach Mike Tomlin at the time, and actually, in the end, wanted to work with Tony Dungy. And he knew that Coach Tomlin had a relationship with Tony Dungy from the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. So he went to Mike and he talked to Coach Tomlin and Coach Tomlin said, I want to be involved. And Pastor Ed said, yeah, you, you're, you're coaching one of the best teams in the NFL. How would you possibly have time to do that? And he said, no, 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 Pastor Ed, you don't understand. I just buried a dad that I barely knew. Or if not for my grandfather and my stepdad, I wouldn't be where I am. So Coach Tomlin has been part of Man Up since the beginning for all 10 I mean, years. I don't remember hearing that story No, before. I've never known Listen, that, that story. Listen, that story was so compelling, someone just stole, just took a car. <laughs> yeah, I mean, not right. stole, they sold one while you were here because that was yeah, such a good story. Yeah, so, yeah, that's awesome. So describe what the Man Up event is. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Sure, it's a one-day men's conference. It's going to be June 11th at Victory Family Church in Cranberry Township. Okay. The event, John, is really meant, we'd like to build Man Up, not build so it's really meant to encourage men to love their wives, love their kids, and be a better role model in their communities to kids that don't have a dad. Because who knew there was so many without? That's right. That's, that is a crazy, crazy number. So, I mean, as I look at this, and, and all kidding aside, I mean, it's from 7.30 to 3 o'clock. So it's right. an all-day event. Yes, it is. And this is your 10th year celebration. Right. Congratulations. I mean, if that yeah. doesn't deserve a tailgate, what does? That's right. That That's is so right. cool. So not only, so Tony Dungy is going to be there? He, not physically there. Okay. He will be coming in virtually, and he's going to be 
Who yeah. needs a truck and a tailgate, Peter? Well, that's that's, right. Right. that's yeah. our beer truck. That's it. Yeah, it was our city. So, yeah, uh, Tony is going to come in. Because of that piece I just told yeah, right. you, he did have a piece of that origin of Man Up. So, Pastor Ed really wants to put Tony Dunty, Coach Tomlin, he calls it TNT. He wants to put them together He's and do that, yeah, I love it. do that interview uh, towards the end of the day on the 11th. I love that. So, Peter, tell me about this. Like, you know, it's, it's I'm a dad, so, yeah. you know, I, I know too. what I've done. And, and I sit there and think, like, wow, it's hard to believe that they're... But the, if I was someone kind of right on the edge, knowing that it's a church, it might seem a little scary to me. Yeah, right. Sure, but it's not. No, that's it. Shouldn't be scary. Yeah, no, absolutely. You not. just have to genuflect, and you have. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I, a lot of guys, if they did that, they wouldn't be able to get back up. Sure, sure, sure. We don't, we don't make anybody do that. You know what I think it is, John? It's the fact of men being together for a common cause, a common bond, and all, any inhibitions or any um, concerns like that. My experience has been they just fall away. It's a very diverse audience that we get at the event, so it's really, really cool. And we do have special events, special breakout sessions for younger men and also veterans. So we have a lot of different things to offer throughout the day. I love that. Okay, so I am using, I don't have my do it. on, Ray, but I am using my It's TV. Saturday, June 11th. Yes, and it's early in the morning, I mean 7.30 to 3 o'clock, but is. there is a 10% discount. So here's what I think is kind of cool. Get your own tailgate. That's what I say. Get your group, get your posse, yeah. and you get a 10% if it's 10 people or more. Correct. That's right. So That's how cool right. is that? So if there's a handful of you, connect with another handful, and that kind of brings the cost down. But the cost is not bad. It's actually, from now until June 10th, $49. That's right. And that for includes, all day. Yeah, that includes a light breakfast and a lunch. Oh, wow. And really some nationally known speakers. Oh, my gosh. I know. I uh, could go through. We're crazy. really excited to have... Ryan Chazier with us this year. Yeah, Craig um, Wolfley's going to be there. Yeah, of course, Aww. everybody knows Ryan and his story. He's right. just written a book yes. right? yeah. um, called Walking Miracle. Yep. Ryan's going to be with us talking about his story, his book. Um, so we're just super excited about the day. That's so awesome. Okay, so I'm going to throw a little competitive piece in, okay? Yeah. So Peter was telling me prior, and you were kind of doing your bit where you whistle and get beer. He was telling me that he wants to surpass last year or the, because you had two years of virtual and you want to get these tickets going that's right so he has about 400 sold but he needs more yeah. so i say we will purchase toward your group of 10 we will purchase four of them if you do it fair enough oh, so that's that we awesome. can continue to get people yeah i love it yeah that's Why fantastic not? right so, so we have four, we'll contribute to four tickets if you can get six more rounded up it's a 10 percent discount we're in that's awesome and that way we'll get you to your register you have to get this taken care of beforehand. Pittsburghers, you procrastinate way too much. <laughs> right. Get in so that we know how Don't wait to about. see what the weather's going to be. No, Don't it's wait inside. To see. Doesn't matter. The yeah. penguins are out. The pirates are really not competitive. Really? You won't have anything else to do that day. And the standard is the standard. <laughs> right. right. <laughs> I had to say it, right? I can guarantee you that if a man chooses to buy a ticket to come to this, he will be impacted in some positive way. We, we have so many stories of guys that have attended that their marriages have been salvaged. They've created better relationships with their kids. The stories go on and on. I mean, you will have men a good time. I love it. All right, Peter, we're gonna make this happen for you. But in the meantime, we're at a tailgate. What would you bring to the tailgate if we had told you to actually bring something? A beverage you can't dress or a very food? well. For yeah, 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 yeah. Oh yes, this merch will be available at Man Up. So love it. Uh, nice souvenirs to bring home. Um, I would go, Rachel, I would go uh, sausage and mustard. Oh, wow. Oh, okay. He's a condiment guy. He's a yeah. condiment guy. How, yeah, right. Yeah, how about you? Does that go on would a burger share? or a hot dog? Oh. Okay. Yeah. And the sausage and the mustard. Oh, yeah. So then, if, would you prefer a hot summer tailgate at a baseball game or a very cold tailgate outside of a Steeler game? Well, I'd always pick the Steelers over the Pirates, but I prefer the winter weather. Well. Okay. Sometimes Fair you enough. get both. Fair enough. September, Fair enough. not often. Peter, Peter man up. Pleasure. What's the website? www.manuppittsburgh.org. That's where you can go to register and buy your tickets. You Thanks, guys. Have a good weekend. See you guys.